What's up, y'all? This is Chris again. I got four shirts to do for a uh, uh, paparazzi um, consultant. Uh, she wants a lot of bling, so um, I'm going to uh, do a rhinestone scatter method on the back with her, her independent consultant name. And on the front, a bunch of other rhinestones and glitter and stuff. Okay, we back. This is what I'm gonna put on the back of all four of the shirts. Um, it's gonna be two, uh, two of the hot pink, you know, paparazzi color and two black. So uh, all I have to do with this is create one um, scatter method rhinestone template uh, because I'm going to uh, probably do these in glitter. Watch I go ahead and switch it. No, I'm not gonna switch it. But I'm gonna do this in glitter. It's hot pink glitter, and I'm gonna do this one in, in hot and black glitter vinyl. Hot pink vinyl, black glitter vinyl, and that'll be inside of all the rhinestones scattered. So, all right, let me zoom in a little bit. So this is the font I'm using. Something simple, I believe it's Arial, whatever it is. First thing you do was to make it a compound path, so they be all grouped together. Come over here to your panel, click on your star for the offset, bam. And I started off with point, cause it's default is 0.125. So I went to point 0 0.075. You can choose whatever you want. I just chose 0 0.075. Cause I want it kind of close, but not too close to the jewels, as you can see there, there it is. So I'm gonna set this out the way. Then I'm gonna come, highlight all of these, make that a compound path. Bam, now we're gonna build upon this. So I'm gonna click on that, click offset again. And the first time was 0 0.075. So we're gonna go up in 7,500 increments. So 0 0.05, next will be 0 0.50. Apply or hit enter. Okay, see the line there that came up right here. Okay. I'm gonna move this out the way now. This one, set this over here. Now this is what I wanted. This is what I want here, this open faced. So I'm gonna just group it all together, come back, hit offset again. Last time it was 0 0.50, so it's gonna be 0.225 now. Remember we're going up in 7,500 increments. Click that. Okay, now we click the outer line here. Come back here, we have another offset. This time it was 0.225 last time, so this will be 0.3 this time. Boom, there you go, 0.3. And we're gonna go one more. We'll click on this outside line again, and it'll be 0.375 now. 375, enter, boom, there you go. See, that's what you want. Want a bunch of different layers here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Because what you're going to do is click on each of these layers and then you're going to open up your rhinestone panel. And that's how you're going to get your rhinestone scatter effect. So we're going to start with this first one. Open up your rhinestone panel. I'm using uh, 16 SS, SS16, whatever you want to call it, rhinestones. So we're going to go ahead and click SS16 and we're going to click the edge pattern since this is the first one that's going to be around the blessed jewels with juanda i'm going to leave that as is i'm going to bring it down to double zero though there you go make sure it's ss 16 size is double zero spacing to be the 0 0.039 which is your default i believe so right now we got approximately 280 rhinestones on this one. Next, we're gonna click on the next line, which is this one. 
Make sure your SS-16 is selected, your double zero size is selected. Click on the edge circle again in your rhinestone effect. Bam. And this time we're going to spread out the spacing a little bit. So we're going to spread it out probably 0.125. Just click up the next from the 0 0.039. Just click it at 1 to 0.125. Or you can spread it out even more. See? Do it that way. But for right now, we're just going to go up one increment to 0.125. Click out. Click the next line. That says six, 16, double zero size, rhinestone effect, edge. Now we're going to go up, space it again, 0.25. And we're going to see how it's scattering out now. So we're going to go to this final line. Same thing, SS16, double zero, edge, 0.25. Let me zoom back out. And you can change these up any way you want. Like you can make, scatter it out even more. You can space it, space it more like that. You come back, space it some more if you want again to, so it'll be less, you know, jumbled up or whatever you want to call it. Space it some more. Just depends on what you want. However you think looks good. So you can just go with a basic open like that. There you go. 0.125. So there you go. I'm going to leave this randomly darken this so you can see this. I apologize. I'm just going to darken it to just say a gray. Just to imitate. There you go. You see how it's scattered? Sorry about not doing that earlier. Just a scattered effect, and you can see the words going here. So now what we're going to do is bring these words back. As you can see, they go in there just like that. And I said I was going to do some glitter, so let me change that to a glitter. There we go. Or if you want, you can just change it to a rhinestone itself. Let me change that color. You gotta drop these down to the SS tens if you want to do those words, make it look a little better. There you go. See that? So if you want, you can just leave it all rhinestones, or you can save yourself a little hassle, do like I'm doing, and just making the word here, the words uh, glitter vinyl. Um, it would look real nice with the rhinestones, but to me, it'd be too much rhinestones on it, kind of blend in and everything. So I'm gonna go with that. Since like I said, it's gonna be on the uh, a fuchsia shirt. Let me darken this here. Fuchsia, send it to the back. Like I said, all oh, this would be silver. Let me get as close to silver as that's silver crystal as I can. So it'll be something similar to that on the back of the shirt, which I think is just a lot. I mean, it looks nice, but it's just a lot. It look real. It look better on black. See, that's fire on that black. But to me, I think I'm gonna roll with the uh, having this the contrasting color of the paparazzi, which would be that. See, to me, that looks better which it won't be rhinestone so let me take that off there you go change it back to my glitter that i'm going to use bam so it's going to be like that i think that looks better to me but you might like it differently but that's how you do the scatter man it's not really hard it's basically setting offsets at different sizes and different spacings and you know just comparing and contrasting what you like playing with it and uh get it like you want and that's it now I'm gonna cut it out on my template and show you what the template looks like. And then uh, fill them all in, put the rhinestones, and then we'll go from there. Peace. All right, so still got some more rhinestones cutting. The template's cutting, so I'm gonna put circles there. I usually make three passes on mine to make sure they cut. And that's the template for the scattering. Show you how I separate my uh, cutouts from the template. I just leave it on the mat. 
and then uh, I just pull away. See that? That's the way I do it. Simple and easy. Sometimes they all come out, sometimes they won't. You set it back down on there, rub it a little bit, pull it again. There we go. If anything is left in there, you just set it on the mat like that. Stick your weeder in there, poke it out. You're bound to have some left in there, but it's all good. Easy peasy. Some old cut out, you just lay a rhinestone on it whenever you get ready to uh, hit it with the heat. Nobody said rhinestones wasn't a tedious thing, but it's worth it in the end. It looks so nice. Customers will love it. You got that extra upcharge, which is lovely. You can get your kids, like I do, to uh, spread them rhinestones. Give them something to do while they're sitting around looking at me. Now come over here and get this little, uh, this little brush here and Make yourself useful. I think I'm gonna get them to do these. I don't know why I want some eggs. I want an egg sandwich for some reason. An egg sandwich and some hot tea. That might be. That sounds like an old man meal right there. Two more, we're done. What are you doing, little man? I think we got them all. Let me check, make sure. The outline up top. And my full. Five dollar joint down here. You know, paparazzi is all five bucks. Can't beat that. That's another business a lot of people got into since this pandemic thing and this COVID thing started. A lot of people started making, start printing shirts and stuff and apparel and sublimating and all that. But a lot of people also picked up paparazzi to get some extra money and make ends meet. I supported a few of them myself. That's some nice stuff. All right, I think that's it. I think we got them all. Once over one more time. Y'all see anything I missed? Five dollar, five dollar. I think we're good. Put this back on my sheet for tomorrow. I'm gonna show you how. Get all this stuff off my uh, mat. If I can get this on. All right. It's a paparazzi template in case anybody else wants some. I have it ready. Set that over here for tomorrow. 
Yeah. Shit, I, well, this is what I do. I usually get take this, go over to the trash can, lay this up against the side of the trash can, and just take this little squeegee thing here and just scrape right off in the trash can. Make sure you're in the trash can because if not, they'll fly everywhere. So, all right. Catch y'all over there when I fill these templates in. Peace.